Hey y'all, your coach Ant-Man coming at you live here from the comfort of my own bathroom. I know this wall is extremely exciting right now. Turned on this camera and I was like, I gotta do new painting. It's too naked. All right, but I digress. So today what I wanted to kind of do is I wanted to do a new facial that we've never done before. Um, we've done the bentonite clay mask with um, mixing it with just water. Also adding a little bit of the apple cider vinegar, which is great. Careful with that though, don't use too much apple cider vinegar or you end up with a completely red face. And holy moly, why am I even talking about this? We are talking about the tea tree mask today. There are so many benefits for tea tree oil. You can use it to remove your makeup, you can use it to soften your cuticles, you can use it to actually make your feet smell better. I mean, it's fuck. It's frigid. It's frigid endless. The possibilities are frigid endless. Woo. Lord forgive me. All right, some of the great benefits of this particular mask is it's a cooling mask. Um, helps remove impurities, uh, removes excess oil on your skin. It prevents acne. It prevents the blackheads and things from appearing. So if you do this, as often as it says you need to, which let me go ahead and get how many times it says that we can do this. We can do it one to two times a week. So nothing too crazy. Um, this mask was only about 10 bucks and I've got quite a bit of product in it. You can see it's a nice, beautiful green minty color here. It smells delicious. Like, and I want to jump in it and swim around delicious. Mm. Um, but what we're going to do Mm. I'm serious, this stuff smells good. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna put this evenly on the skin for 10 to 15 minutes and then we're gonna wipe it off. See what we're kind of working with underneath and then Amber's gotta go get something done with his eyebrows. Cause these are scary. These are really scary today. All right, so, shall we begin? What's going on? It smells even better when it's going on. Oh my gosh. Mm. It almost it's like a weird mixture between like tea tree. And by tea tree I mean like mint because I would have never known what tea tree smelled like before today. Um Smells very minty, but I'm also getting this weird hint of um, key lime pie. Is that what it smells like, key lime pie? All right, so I can feel it kind of uh, cooling a little bit here. Definitely interesting. We'll head here and get my mustache. All right. Let's not neglect this area. I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking I'm styling and profiling right now. Styling and profiling. I knew there was something I was forgetting. <clears throat> That's a little better. <laughs> I was about to paint my hair. I was like, wait, and you can tell I'm not getting too close to my eyes, but. It did get up there a little bit. Be careful while do, do, doing that. The skin there is thinner than obviously the rest of the skin on your face. So I do not recommend doing this if you're doing a mask that is involved with any apple cider vinegar or anything because you're gonna end up really irritating that skin. Also, prior to ever doing a mask, what I would recommend you do is go ahead, try it on a little portion of your skin first, and then kind of go from there because uh, you don't want it to have a reaction to your skin and then after you put it all the way on your face, you're pretty much, you're in it to win it. So whatever the final product is gonna be underneath when you take it off, be willing to accept it if you didn't wanna take the time out to give it a, give it a shot somewhere else on your skin. All right. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to lay my brush out to dry and we are gonna wait to see these final results. Yeah. Oh, you know it will be. Alrighty, so it has been 
about 15 minutes now and as you can see it's pretty dry in most areas. Um, the places that I put it a little thicker you can kind of see it's cracking a little bit. I'm still able to move it around but for the most part in most areas of my face this mask has dried. So what we do now is we just rinse it off with water. Let's do it. Are you ready? 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 All right, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and get my towel because otherwise I'm gonna make a big old mess. We already know things don't go over as well as those uh, face wash commercials. <laughs> Yes, darling, yes. Loving it. Skin is soft, smooth. It looks like I got a little bit more of a glow to my skin. And I guarantee you, after time with using this persistently, my skin would be flawless. So there you have it, folks. The Body Shop Tea Tree Clay Mask. Two thumbs up from your coach, Am Bam. I love it. That cooling sensation, the glow it's given my skin, it's amazing. I'm actually, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. All right, well, that's all I've got for today, folks. Can't wait to hang out with you again next week. Try out another mask and get this skin looking flawless. Like Beyonce style, you know? <laughs> all right, y'all. Until next time. Later, tater. <laughs>